up, up, and away. Students here at Lebanon Christian School made their fourth weather balloon launch this morning. WLWT News 5's Christy Davis has a look at the high flying experiment. It's not your average party balloon filling up with nearly a full tank of helium. Um, it's definitely big. Tom Reed and his team got the weather balloon ready to launch in beautiful weather ahead of Lebanon Christian School's field day festivities. When we did it in the winter, it went a lot further. Uh, we had them go as far down as uh, to Portsmouth, and we had one up by Cambridge. You can't control where it lands, especially after it soars as high as 100,000 feet before it pops. That balloon doesn't just go up in the air all by itself. It's also taking some pretty interesting things in these boxes they're calling payloads. When Mr. Reed came into our class, he talked about how much pressure is up there, and we wanted to see if the ping pong balls would squish together and what they would do or blow up. Yeah, like Gabby said, because explosions are cool in my world. Yeah. The kids also sent up marshmallows and a doll, and for grown-ups, some fun gadgets. So wait and make sure we have a satellite fixed before we button it up. And then we have a video camera that we're going to turn on and secure here. And a few living creatures, cricket. We got a parachute. They won't be affected by impact. But the the problem with the crickets is uh, two things. It'll be lack of oxygen when they get up at altitude and also temperatures. All in the name of science and. A little fun. In Levin, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5. I can't wait to see more of the video like that. That shot from way up in the air. Take a look at some of this stuff captured by the weather balloon. Reached 95,000 feet before it popped and landed near Sabina, Ohio. You can clearly see Caesar Creek Lake in the middle and the Wilmington Air Park runways at the bottom of the photo. Much, much more on our website, WLWT.com.